guys, so <laughs> you might hear some dog noise in the background. I don't know if you've heard, but I have dogs. Usually I have them outside playing or with my kids, but that's not going to work out today. So I have Akari. Yeah. I have Akari here with me, and she's a little hard to video because she has a full black mask. Um, and then Harry is running around here behind me. Come here, Harry. Oh my goodness, Mr. Harry has gotten so big. No, not that toys. We're gonna get new toys. Okay, house, house. Thank you. So as we go this time, I'm gonna actually put the toys aside. And then at the end of the video, we're going to try out the different toys. And I'll let you know which one is from BarkBox and which one is from Pet Supplies Plus. So very first, we're just going to go over the packaging. I think everybody kind of knows the BarkBox Super Chewer. It's a pretty standardized design. Not that it's a bad design. It's just standardized. This is the Pet Supplies Plus box. And I did go with the Bear box, by the way. Um, this is not to do with the design, but... Um, Pet Supplies Plus has three different sizes. They have their Buddy Box, which is their smaller dogs, their Bella Box, which is their medium dogs, and this is the Bear Box because two of my dogs are large, one of my dogs is very small and is a heavy chewer, and then I just have Pi who's kind of in the middle there and she'll play with anything, so it doesn't really matter. So Bear Box is a better safe spot for us. And they do, this is not a print, so this is like a sticker that was put taped on here. These are little stamped paw prints, more stickers. Um, all of this is done by the staff, uh, and the idea was actually thought up by, um, I don't know if it was the store manager Simon's idea, but it was taken to corporate by, what was your Simon Hanna, there we go, I've got my notes up here, and he is at the Manchester, Baldwin location on Manchester, and that is the store that I actually got this from. So they were super nice when I went in and I was buying my my Pet Supplies Plus version of the Bark Box. Um, you know, he said, have you ever gotten one of these before? They're very, very friendly staff up there. And I said, no, I'm actually doing a video. I'm a behaviorist. Um, and I like going over different toys with everyone. And he was super excited to hear that I was doing a video. So they donated this box to us. Thank you very much, guys. And I, I like the designs. They're very pretty. You can, when you go in and see them, they're all stacked up and every one of them is different. And the great news is, is that Simon just got information back from his corporate that they're going to start doing something along these lines at all of the locations, which is fantastic. I love being able to support local. So these are what they look like. Plus plus plus. Bark box. But let's not judge a book by its cover. As always, we have our theme cover from BarkBox. This is their backyard barbecue. It looks like we have a Husky and a Malinois today. By the way, guys, it is not pronounced Malinois. It is Malinois. Doesn't matter if it's Belgian, Dutch, whatever. It's Malinois. So inside, we have all of our play hacks, the information about how you can use these toys, different ways to entertain your dogs. And at the bottom is the full collection of the barbecue theme for this month. So if you didn't get a toy that you see on here that you really, really like, you can go onto the BarkBox website and you can actually buy those toys. That is usually a limited time ordeal. They don't produce these all year long. So if you see something, go grab it now. There's no guarantee that they're gonna have it at the end of the year in one of their sales. So, first toy is a little grill. It is, this is the Super Chewer box and I get it for the large dogs, like I said. Um, so this is Puff In Your Grill. It is the texture, I would say, of a Kong, um, that kind of rubbery plastic. And this is hollow on the inside, so you can stick treats and toys and, I don't know what kind of tiny toy you can stick in there, I don't know why I said that, but you can stick treats in there. You could put peanut butter in there, just be willing to get in there and actually clean it out with your fingers if your dog doesn't get it off. But I can tell you, we're gonna have some fun with this later. I'm actually probably going to take the Kong Easy Fillers. They look like they're in an easy cheese bottle and I'm gonna stick it in there and squirt it all the way in there because my dogs do clean those out really, really well. And next we have the Well Done Steak. Doop. It is. 
This is the texture of a Nyla bone. This is a very heavy chewer. This is probably going to go to jailbreak. Uh, Kari is a heavy chewer, but she's weird about textures and she's never been a big fan of the Nyla bone. So we'll give this one to jailbreak. Um, maybe Harry. It, it seems to be, it, it seems to smell like meat. Um, so Harry probably will enjoy it, but we'll see. And then, as always, we have the two treat sticks. Um, I like to treat these like bully sticks. Like I mentioned in one of my last videos, these, my dogs used to go through them super fast and now they don't go through, as, through them as fast. I don't know if my dogs got older or if the recipe changed, but now it takes them a little longer. And I stick them inside of one of the buddy toys that you can just shove this through the buddy toy. And at the end of the video, I'll have one of these set up in it so you can see the toy I'm talking about. Um, but that helps the dog hold it and it hides part of the, to the treat inside. So that's nice. Okay, we have, ooh, we have jerky this time. So we've recently just been getting like regular soft treats. We've gotten a lot of those. So this is the captivating chicken jerky will transform your dog into a really good listener. I believe it. Although their attention may drift after snack time is over. Also believe it. You can see in the package, it kind of looks like fish on my camera, but we will get some of these out. I'm excited about that. This magical turkey and sweet potato jerky will make at least one of your dog's wildest dreams come true. We're still working on the bottomless peanut butter goblet. Well, keep working on it, guys, because my dogs are kind of iffy about peanut butter. They only like it if they know that there are hot dogs hidden underneath the peanut butter in the Kong. So, that is our bark box. Give me one second. I'm going to pile all of this up, and then we will move on to the Pet Supplies Quest box. Okay, Pet Supplies Plus box. I got a cardboard cut on the Super Chewer box. I'm not happy about that, but... I'm a professional. I won't judge them for that. So, Pet Supplies Plus box. Very similar build box. It's cardboard. Opens up. Here's the inside. So it has cute little puppy print tissue paper. Honestly, my dogs will enjoy just tearing the tissue paper up. Go back. I'm not done with you yet. So. Okay. Wow, guys, this is a crap ton of stuff. Um, by the way, these were the same price. Just throwing that out there. Both the Super Chewer and the um, Bear Size Pet Supplies Plus box were $35. So, holy crap, guys. So we have a decorated strawberry cheat treat. Cheat. Cute. It's in a, a cellophane like wrapper, so it didn't go bad or anything. We have a large tennis ball. Yes. <laughs> Everybody's coming to see me. I'm very excited. Can you tell? This is a lot of toys, a lot of stuff. Okay. Okay, Outward Hound. That's a brand that a lot of people will be familiar with. Extreme Seams. So they use. You will get to play with it in a minute. Y'all, look at this. I'm being watched. It's ridiculous. Okay, so extreme seams, reinforced seams of material and stitching. So it does, you can feel it. It's a soft material out here, but you can feel that it's firm. It's not just like your, your cotton. And now I moved my camera and I messed it all up. And then they've, not only used another material to go around the seams, they have double stitched here. So stitching going that way, stitching going this way. It has a squeaker inside, I can feel it, and I'm I'm afraid to squeak it. Oh no. It has a squeaker in it. There it is. We got a baby little squeaker. Now they hate me. Alrighty. What do we have next? Crinkles and squeaks. This is neat. Multi-pet dog toy cuddle buddies. This reminds me of that PetSmart commercial that they had years ago 
um, with, it was like a long toy like this, but it was blue, and the dog would carry it in every single time, and it just got dirtier and dirtier and dirtier, and it fell apart, and then one day he came in without it, and looked really sad, and then he got the exact same toy. Wow, you didn't need to know anything about that. That's my ADHD. Hi guys, have we met? So, it squeaks. It crinkles. There you go. It's very soft. He has sort of like, it gets thinner, just like barely noticeably, so he just has a really long neck. This poor leopard. Um, it is going to get destroyed if you have a dog that is a super chewer. I will probably, I don't know if I'm going to just let them destroy it or if I'm gonna put it up and just let dogs that visit play with it, but all four of my dogs will destroy this. But it's really cute and I like it. Okay. What are you supposed to be? Are you a, I don't know. I think this is supposed to be a duck. It looks like a platypus. It is made of like suede leather like material. It's from Aussie Naturals. Ooh, it's for Pie Pie. It's for Aussies. Wiggly. I don't know if that's the brand or this type of toy. Natural materials designed for quiet play. Great for tug and fetch. Akari will love that. It does have ropes on it. It is stuffed right here. Um, but it's not stuffed with like, it doesn't feel like traditional stuffing. It's kind of hard to explain. It's a hard stuffed. So, can you hear that? Doesn't sound quite the same, doesn't feel the same. So this is neat, neat platypus duck friend. I like him, Akari would like him. So we do, after all of that, we still have more things. There's more treats at the bottom. This is chicken sausage cuts, grain free. Adult dog treats, they help with, uh, they help support joint health. Uh, number one ingredient is USA raised chicken, made in the US, with responsibly sourced US and imported ingredients. Okay, so they didn't just like throw pepperonis or something in the treat. They, they sent some high quality good treats in here and I will, kudos guys. They could have gotten away with just random treats. So these are a softer material. They look like little hamburger patties. These are crunchy bits, crunchy bites from Chicken Soup for the Soul. I did not know that they made dog treats. That's interesting. Um, also lovingly prepared in the USA with the world's finest ingredients, made with real bacon and cheese, no byproduct meals, no wheat, corn, or soy, no artificial colors, preservatives, or flavors. All right, and it came with a coupon. I'm a coupon fiend. Came with a $3 off coupon for the kibble from this company. And it's six calories per treat, which is nice. My mom has a dog that is really trying to lose weight, so we might have to send some of these over to them. But guys, that is finally the end of the Pet Supplies Plus box. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm really pushing this box and kind of digging on the bark box. I do like bark box. I'm not going to stop getting it. I was just really impressed with how much cool stuff that we got in this box.